Hello everybody, welcome back to the Let's Play series. My name is Noisy, and this is episode 21. And by the title of the video, yes, we're gonna finally do a zombie mob spawner. So excited. Well, I should say zombie, but we're gonna do a spider and a zombie spawner. And I, I know I have a spider spawner and a zombie spawner in probably like a two chunk radius. I think it might be a one chunk. New to the game. I think that's how it works, but we have quite the inventory. <laughs> we've got um, a lot of TNT, and then we've got our redstone for the powered rails, which I should, I'm hoping on the way to the tunnel, not on the way to the tunnel, but I'm hoping on our journey ahead, we actually do come across some gold. So uh, that's why I have the redstone on me and then the stick so we can make more powered rail. So previously, uh, I think episode 19 or 18, when we built this, I was going to put a chest room here. I'm still going to do that, but I'm going to do a little mine shaft looking thing in, in this direction. Now, what I'm kind of a little bit scared about <laughs> with doing this is A, it's going to be very time consuming. Um, B, it's going to be a very long, long, long hallway with a lot of cart and rails. But I thought this would be the easiest way to get to and from the spawner. We're going to blow all the way through to where the first spawner is. And then from that spawner, there is another spawner, which is in that kind of cave looking um mineshaft area we found a couple of episodes ago so my plan is to work on those today and i'm gonna see if i can at least get there because i know the spawn is at negative um 51 um and then i do believe the Z is like 132 ish or something like that i should have taken a picture of it so, so this marks history right here go ahead and close it up and it should just kind of go off in a chain reaction yeah, so I'm going to be doing this for quite a while. We are here. So yeah, I've just been running into a lot of water issues, and it's it's making this incredibly hard to make, you know, it an easy, fast process. This water, is it just won't go away. So I have to build, like, these tunnels. So do you want the good news or the bad news? I think if it was me, I'd probably go with the bad news. The bad news is there is a lot of water in this seed and that means probably on either side of this tunnel as you can see there is just like an underwater cave system for those people who haven't watched the episode and you've seen this one uh i went exploring one day and i came across a big cave well someone in the comments said that it looks like a luscious cave i think so me being new to minecraft i actually had no idea what that was and didn't know it was a thing I went ahead and googled it and it did actually remind me of this cave so the plan is to make this look like a luscious cave but we're going to make it like a noisy luscious cave we are here the final destination is zombie island well i wouldn't really say it's zombie island is it even a zombie spawner where'd it go it is a zombie spawner okay I, i'm pretty sure we already uh got the stuff out of this because i was exploring and i found it and i made a pillar somewhere so what i am going to do here is we'll get this set up to the way we want it as in as far as like um the spawner goes i would say like the dimensions for the spawner i know i'm probably gonna have to go like six out on either side there is so much floating stuff i probably oh, i have 17 tnt left what am i doing here we can just yeah let's this should be far enough away right i shouldn't destroy much i might have to just do them one by one though if it destroys this spawner i'm gonna be super okay so i'm actually gonna be a little bit sad if that actually destroyed it to go and strategically place these around i didn't want to put that there that way we can get chunks cleared out without me having to waste the durability on my pickaxe but the crazy thing is i don't really actually waste it because it has mending on it so now, I honestly don't know what the dimensions I like what the dimensions are for this build. I'm going to clear out a section that I think is big enough. And then I'll kind of just have to do some research on how to build one. And then I'll add my twist on 
the build just to kind of make it my own. That's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and clear the rest of this out. And hopefully when we get back, this will be a pretty nice looking square. We just completely, completely destroyed our mob spawner here. Well, to each of their own. Oh, don't kill me too. I tell you what, those creepers are absolutely lethal. So we'll go ahead and just leave this build from now on. Uh, maybe we'll push down here at some point to kind of make it look a little bit better. Um, but I'll probably never come back here. <laughs> Ever. I have to, I do believe, do four... Like a four block room. Oh, sorry, it's going to be a nine by nine. So there needs to be four blocks on either side of this spawner. And then I will encase it in. So now that this part's done, we are going to go ahead and remove all of the blocks underneath the end of water sauce block. Just like that. So I think I do need to remove this one and this one, actually. So it should create a water stream and they should all go to the center block right there. Just like so. So we're actually almost done with the build. It's kind of taking a little bit because, again, I had to, like, build the chamber itself. Like, this wasn't inside a massive chunk, so you could just mine what you needed it to be. So with me, it's kind of hard because I'm actually building the surrounding areas. So it's taking me a little bit, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. Ooh, this is, uh, this is taking quite some time here, which, you know... It's okay, because we're all learning at the same time here, so it's not like a massive deal. <laughs> I need my slabs. I thought... I'm just gonna... I guess... Oh, no. I don't really want to use cobble slabs, so... Let me run down here and grab some stone, so we can at least make the slabs kind of nice. No, this should work. If... If I did it right, it should work. Okay. Oof. I honestly really thought this wasn't going to work. And then I would have been a little bit upsetty spaghetti, but it is what it is. And again, yes, I'm here mining stone because I, I need more slabs. And I didn't really come prepared for this build, so I'm so sorry. Again, like this, I'm not used to these type of builds. So like the stopping and pausing is me just looking at my other screen to try to get this to, to turn out right. I think I need slabs all across this back side. Did I not make the slabs I needed? We should have enough slabs now to finish this. I mean, 30 slabs is quite a bit, so. I think it goes something like that. And then, actually, I think this needs to come all the way. Then I think the trap doors go on here. Oh, wait a second. Wait, no, do the slabs... Wait. Do they go... Oh, is this supposed to be one high? I'm literally running out of room to build here. But I think once I get, like, the the base foundation down, then we can make it all, you know, decent looking and fancy. Well, we're almost done, which is fantastic. It's taken me quite a while here. I think I need to do that. And then the trap doors go here. And I think this is the killing chamber. So let's go ahead. I mean, as long as this works, we can worry about what it looks like on the outside at a, like, at a later date. Well, not at a later date, but... So this is the moment of truth. I hope this spacing is correct. I'm pretty sure there's four blocks above this. But the moment I remove this glowstone everything's gonna start spawning and we have to try and is there a... can i get out this way okay so i need to kind of like make a really quick escape route this that right there is probably going to be my way out this is gonna be so sketchy i hope i can oh my goodness they spawn so quickly holy moly oh my ah! Okay, okay, bad idea, bad idea, real bad idea. Um, I do not have my sword, which is annoying. We gotta get up there ASAP and try and get this under control, because clearly Noisy did not prepare for this part. So it's not working the way I thought it would. They're actually all stuck in these corners right here, and I can't get them. If I go close, as you can see, my health bar is really low. That's because they were poisoning me from, like, this block, which makes no sense because 
they shouldn't be able to touch me. So I'm not quite sure I did this the correct way. Well, I got really bad news. We had to retreat because I ran out of food and I'm almost dead. Uh, the poison from those spiders are pretty deadly. I didn't realize that they would take that much health off you. Plus, on that note too, the spiders kept getting caught, like, caught up in a corner and I would go next to the corner and they'd actually be able to hit me. So I got to try and figure out how to unstick them from the corner of the kill chamber and then hopefully it will work completely normal. Okay, so my theory is because these guys are the cave spiders, I think they are a lot smaller than regular spiders. So they, I think they can travel through a one block space because right now it's a two block space, hence why they're getting stuck up there. So the plan is here uh, to change the two block kill chamber to a one block kill chamber. That way we can see if they still get stuck now there actually are quite a lot of uh spiders there still i'm gonna attempt to go down here and try to kill them without getting poisoned but they just they jump so far and it's 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 it's, it's crazy like these spiders are op so it's completed the only thing i did in there is i just added a solid block to the chamber so now there is like a one not, not even like it's like a half block chamber here straight from the far back where they get funneled into the spawner it is now half a block all the way to here so they're no longer getting stuck but the only thing that i now have just discovered is if you go too close I, i'm pretty sure they can still get you apparently not so this farm is actually working the way it's supposed to so that's fantastic and then I do need to make another sword to put, is it Bane of F? I don't know that enchantment, but it's the enchantment where it does more damage to spiders because these guys take forever to die. Noisy has another spawner, so I'm pretty, pretty pumped about that. It looks disgusting, don't get me wrong, it looks horrible, but... So I'm happy with that already just off those guys. I mean, we're actually getting quite, quite a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to take all the stuff out that isn't supposed to be in there. So I'll be at, okay, this cave spawns so many mobs, it's actually insane. So let's jump back to the noisy cave and empty out all of the stuff. And then we'll come back down and try to make this look a little bit more, you know, pleasant to look at from the outside. So I've been quite the busy little Minecrafter. I ran into an issue. I went outside to grab the rest of the darkwood from the saplings that are outside uh, growing. Well, a creeper blew up like all of them that were growing. So I had to run all the way to a dark biome again, grab new saplings, wait for them to grow, chop them down and pretty much repeat the same process. Um, then the dirt just, it, it took a while. It, it took a while to get the dirt. And then... I totally forgot to tell you, so I might have told you, I'm not too sure, I'm recording this part on a different day, so it's actually the day after I recorded this episode. Um, when I was moving all the chests from our main room into a chest room, I destroyed all of them, thinking the items wouldn't despawn, while I got like two inventories full of stuff, ran in there, sorted it, ran back out, and everything was gone. So I lost all of my rails, I lost my powered rails, so I'm probably gonna have to nip to... This keeps disappearing, and I don't know where it keeps going, like, it literally just keeps disappearing. It's like the second time now, it's just gone. But I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. And of course, appreciate you all being here on this crazy adventure today. So I'm going to be here for quite a while, trying to get the tracks put down and this platform for the tracks put down. Uh, I'm not going to decorate the actual hall. I think I'm going to leave it stony like this and then maybe just kind of decorate it a little bit. Maybe put some wood blocks in there somewhere and then put some vines going down on the side of the walls. I don't quite know what I'm going to do for the roof yet, but... I might just slab it over. I am not too sure at this point. So I ran <laughs> ran out of wood just as I was like, I don't know, maybe a couple of blocks to the end of it. So we'll get the center filled in and then 
probably gonna add some lanterns inside the wall so they're kind of like sitting on shelves if that makes sense i don't even know if you can sit lanterns on top of uh, slabs but i kind of want to find out so i might just add slabs on the left side of the rails and the right side of the rails on the ceiling just like so and then in the center i i might do grass blocks so i'm yeah i'm actually oh so that, that means i've got to destroy these blocks that was close i'm so glad i've got full diamond armor on that would have not ended well for me and i might have been a little bit upsetty spaghetti if i would have died so now i don't think i have enough tracks to finish this though so it's not the worst thing i do like coming prepared though i mean as far as blocks go I didn't know I I would need more rails than what I had, so that's kind of insane. I've already used like two stacks of the rails on that one. So I'm out getting the gold we need, and look what I came across. How wonderful is that? Right there. That's nice. Now, what to get rid of? What is more valuable <laughs> than ancient debris? Nothing in my inventory. Oh, that makes me so happy. So, we finally got this tunnel done. Um... I need to add more power rails here, but I ran out of gold, but obviously I spaced them out just enough just so I can kind of get down here in like a nice cruising motion. The grass is going to take a while to grow in, so then it will look like a lot better. But we did a weird, oh, probably should fix that. We did a weird S-shaped thing. Now it looks really ugly from the outside. I just want you to realize that uh, it, it will look good. It will look good. So I built this little platform. Excuse me, who is taking shots at me? I built this little platform. Who? So yeah, I built the platform and this obviously still needs like a lot of uh, planning. I actually am going to plan on this one instead of just kind of going off the top of my head. This whole room needs to be like really fought over quite well. Um, the floor's missing here because this is going to be grass. So I've got to fill the rest in with dirt. This I'm going to keep wood. I kind of hung some lanterns in random places to kind of give it like a spooky kind of, you know, feeling. <laughs> and then there's a lot of lanterns placed down here because I didn't have any torches on me. So I kind of just place torch uh, place the lanterns pretty much every anywhere like possibly could i put these in the corners of this for a reason so if i go ahead and remove this one i they can still get you but if that obviously is there and it blocks you from walking to that corner then it won't get you it won't kill you it won't poison you so thought i'd test that out and it actually worked out quite well so i am going to try and kill all of these spiders so they stop making horrible noises for me i'm gonna get my pick out in my other hand that way when i get the xp from these guys my durability will actually go back up i just found that out like probably 10 minutes ago when i did this the last time i was like i wonder if i can get durability back up on my pick if i have it on my offhand and it turns out you actually can as you can see so next up is this. It, bleh, yeah, you, you get the feeling. I can't wait to see all of this overgrown. I did bring some vines with me and some oak leaves to try to just strategically place. And then I'm going to do trees too. And it's, it's going to be an awesome build, this one is. It's going to be a fantastic build. Well, I had a pretty neat idea here. And I don't know if it's going to work, but I am while we're building on this i'm actually probably thinking about placing 
some lanterns like in the corners of all of the trap that way if i need to do maintenance on it i can just kind of flick the light on and then it eliminates them being able to spawn so if we're down here working and the noise is kind of getting too much of them like hissing and all that kind of thing then we can just flick the light on and it'll actually turn the mob spawner off i thought that's a neat idea so i'm going to get to work on laying all of the redstone out and then seeing if it actually will work i hope it does to be honest well you can go ahead and ignore the floor for right now i know it's it's awful it's disgusting so we got all the lights in place well i mean lights i mean lanterns i installed like a little gr uh, a glass panel just so we can look through it just to kind of make sure that it is working the way it should so I should probably make this maybe just one block. That way we can check it out. So, yep, lights are on right now. Go ahead and flick them off. And then they should all start to spawn. Now, the light coming in through this window is probably not helping them. So I'll go ahead and cover it up just for a minute. And I'll wait 10 minutes and then we'll jump back to it. Well, it has been 10 minutes. I did not want those to spawn in there, but I guess that's okay. Uh, I did run around and add um, some vines in random places with some lanterns kind of scattered throughout. Now, I don't know how these are going to grow. So, for instance, I will show you an example. You see how these guys are placed on the roof? Will they kind of grow down like this and then kind of fall? Or will they just not grow at all? Let me know in the comments uh, if that is how those work. I really don't know. So, yeah, after like 20 minutes, I think we've got relatively a decent amount here, which is great. Hopefully these don't stop um, the spiders from actually like traveling down here. And I did fill this in as well. The lanterns are just temporary just to help the grass grow. Ow, dude. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I also, as well, let me go ahead and eat some stuff so I don't die with 35 levels on me. I added some mossy block in just random places, too. I think this is this is probably going to be one of my uh, funnest builds, I think, I have done in the series so far. Because it's just random, and I think it's going to look awesome down here when we can actually get it not exactly completed. Because I, I don't ever want to complete this, like, because it, it just looks so cool. But this obviously isn't going to stay like this. This is going to get edited and changed, I think. Because, yeah, it definitely does. It, it needs to be changed because I think right now it just looks like an absolute pile of poop because it's just there. Like, it, it doesn't look decent. But I might kind of, like, change it up a little bit and add some stairs around the bottom, you know. Because right now it just looks like a ginormous room. It, it, in my opinion, it doesn't really look terrible. I just don't want this to be the first thing I see when I come down here. But it is, so I might have to like kind of put like a wall up or a fence along these sides. Um, I'm definitely going to use some chains. I do want to get some oak wood. Uh, actually, no, I have some dark wood on me. But I think the, the theme is actually oak wood down here. When I, mean the, when I mean the theme, I mean like how it's already laid out. Um oak but we'll put some pillars in here so it looks like it's supporting the platform so it's not just kind of like chilling hanging out looks kind of ridiculous and we'll do some wood here as well it's a mess i know it's, it's 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 awful i've been blown up so many times down here by creepers it's actually unreal and all that will get changed at a later date as well. Oh, there's redstone. I was looking for redstone that whole time when I did that, uh, the on-off switch for the mob spawner. Like, I was looking for redstone. I had to run all the way up to the top and grab, <laughs> uh, traders. Not, not grab the traders, but grab the, uh, the trades off the traders. So they are growing, which is awesome. Now, let's go ahead and add some leaves in some places. Kind of play out, kind of place them randomly. I might actually put the leaves going up to the vines, wherever they are. So like right there. I'm pretty sure they'll grow over them anyway. Probably didn't bring enough leaves with me. 
But at least that way we can kind of get some greenery down here so it looks a little bit better. Honestly, I can't wait to find one of those luscious biomes. They, they do look really neat. I will not lie. Well, we're out of leaves. Let's go back a little bit and see how this looks real quick. Yeah, it looks... It do, I like it. It really does look good. It kind of pulls it together a little bit. It kind of fills some space in. Well, that is all we have time for on today's episode. I appreciate all of you stopping by, checking the video out liking it and commenting and doing all the beautiful things that you do on this channel it really means a lot to me the channel's progressing and i can't thank you guys enough and i have something special for every single one of you we do have a question of the day what would you like to see in an upcoming video leave a comment below so i'm gonna leave some builds up to you lot and this way I can get a challenge out of it because I am relatively due I'm kind of getting used to Minecraft now so it's going to be awesome. Challenge me. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in an upcoming video. But on that note, if you liked it, go ahead and like it. If you didn't like it, then hit the dislike button. And then please leave a comment on why you disliked it so I can improve my gameplay and improve my commentary and be a better YouTuber. And if you loved it, hit the beautiful red button that says subscribe. It really helps the channel out the most. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.